guys and welcome back to the devs nest so today is the first day that i'm going to be working in my classroom and i have a lot of little helpers my yeah. helpers come here Hello. all the girls are here today to help mama daddy actually came as well he's gonna be in in a bit so we're gonna see if we can get this classroom in order so i want to try to bring it to life i want to think about areas where I can create space for guided reading, stations, I wanna have some learning pods going on, and I wanna add some color. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, we'll figure it out. Um, so I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I hope you get some inspiration for how to set up your classroom if you're a teacher. If you're not a teacher, I hope you get some insight as to what we go through as far as setting our classroom up and preparing for your babies, okay? This year I'm gonna be teaching second grade, so I'm gonna be teaching little ones like Ellie Belly. <laughs> so this is gonna be interesting. I actually really love second grade. It's been a while since I've taught second grade, um, but I'm excited to see what this year holds. So let's get started with this process. Let's get started. So this is the area behind my desk. Got a lot of storage here. Yeah. And some of them I filled with like second grade curriculum. Yes. This is my desk area. I really honestly prefer not to have a desk because I'm going to be standing the majority of the day. This is the front of my class. I have two whiteboards at the front. I have a smart board. This is going to be my guided reading table. I got to find an area to put that in. This looks like student lockers to hold or to house their items. This is the one bulletin board that I have. I definitely want to have a word wall, so I guess this is going to be the word wall, maybe. And then we just have a lot of storage here, some shelves, student desk, file cabinet, et cetera, et cetera. And daddy's playing basketball already. <laughs> So let's see what we can make happen in this class. Yes guys, so the theme is gonna be not necessarily rainbow, but colorful vibes, splash, splash, color. It's gonna be really cute, but I don't know if we're gonna finish it all today, so. We're gonna get as much done as possible, hello. As we make okay. all these spaces, okay. <laughs> So we're gonna start by setting up the central area of the classroom. I think that'll make me feel like I made more progress, so let's start with that. the best place for the guided reading area. I wanted it up against this uh, whiteboard here. But it's such a small, confined area. Even if it's this way, even if it's this way, that's little bit of stretch. Maybe they're short and maybe they can't see. Or you just close it. Oh yeah, we can close it. 
You can close it? Oh, you can close it. No. Oh, what's that for? Is it really screwed up? What? You see that right there? They're separated. I think they used to be able to close them, but they screwed them up. Maybe you can't turn it off. No, no, no. Turn it down. No, no. But anyways, what I'm saying is, unless you put this at the back, I don't want it at the back. But you ain't got no one in the back of the room. Because all these foul cabinets got to go on this side. Say what? It could be in between the cabinet and the... But then when your foul cabinets, your foul, all your foul cabinets and that stuff got to go over there. That's the only place you got to clear the wall. There's nowhere else you got to clear the wall. All the cubbies are there. So if you're going to use those things right there with your chairs, you got to clear the wall. Because that's where the foul cabinets are. So if you're going to use those things right there with your chairs, they got to be over there. Using your head? <laughs> So you gotta work smarter, not harder. It's a good idea, Dad. I want to turn it up against this bulletin board. So I'm going to turn it this way. Hopefully that'll work. Hopefully it's not a stationary desk. Let me see. Three, two, one, let's go. I feel like there's still not a lot of space. I'm gonna have to figure out a solution to make this class look a lot more spacious. Cause I know in terms of kids walking and wanting to feel like they have enough space in their area, I don't know. Cause these aisles are quite narrow. I think the diagonal may be better. I think that looks better than having them separated. A lot of cabinetry in here. Yeah, we gotta figure out a solution to make this more spacious. Let me see, what can we do? All right. Uh... these here for flexible seating that could potentially work we have our organizers for storage that will help to add some extra color we need all the color we can get
we did that. We did that, you guys. Oh, oh, we're it's we, oh. us, do we, us, we did that. Us. Is that a screw? Uh, I really like this border because it already has an adhesive on the middle. Mommy, can I help? Yeah, you can help. Okay, Mommy, Mommy, we need this one. Mommy, I found one. That one works. This one, this one's so much. Hey, the way you really can do it is, the way you really do it is, 
If you do that, if you do that, one. If you do that, what you do is you get one of the students. Everybody like y'all add it up. Everybody add it up. And you be like, oh, Noel, come here. Y'all keep adding up. Get the match together, Noel. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. spectrum on the rainbow so I think I gotta order some green I did find this alphabetical pillow from Michaels which is so adorable they have the print as well as the cursive I really like it hopefully we can keep it clean over here it's gonna add that extra bit of pizzazz and color I have my little floral decor my rainbow caddy I would have liked for this table to be a bit larger but we gotta work with what we have okay so this is coming along but we gotta continue to make progress, yeah? because the light is flashing in from the outside. Um, but Maddie's gonna try to help me hang that. Cause our thing for this year is let's grow together. So I'm looking for flowers and things that grow to kind of spruce up our classroom. So let's see if we can get this hung, okay? It's so 
classroom and we basically did this much because like one one like tomorrow we might not we might like come back and like we don't have to do a lot of work and guys we did like a lot way more than we like did in Bellevue and I'll be I really think that our booty area is really cute and what area do, do you think is really cute? Guys also honestly I feel like this one looks way better than the previous one. I feel like it has a better vibe and stuff. I think the second graders are really gonna appreciate it. Also I'm honestly so glad that it turned out like this. I did not think it was gonna look this good, but it looks awesome. And guys, guess what? Comment down, down below if you want me to be in my mom's class. And guys, we gotta go. We have to go out at 6.30 and it's like 4.30. Yeah, 4.30, so we gotta go. We no. only need two more minutes. Click the notification oh, bell okay. and ring the bell. Bye, guys of me being back in my classroom to set up. I have two helpers with me today, Taylor and Maddie. They're going to be working on my bulletin board. They're gonna put up the black, the border, and some of this colored paper back here. I'm going to be working in my classroom so that I can focus. Let me show you what it looks like so far. My goal for today is to work on setting up my drawers. This is going to be like my game station play area. I want to get my curtains hung. I want to work on my affirmation station. I actually have to find the little items that work together to make it. And I want to work on moving my bookshelf. Yeah, and just really sprucing the place up a little bit more. I actually have a to-do list, so I'm going to try to knock this stuff out as quick as possible. Okay, all right. So I have mini games from third grade, and I don't know if I'll be able to use these, but I'm still gonna use this cabinet, even if I have to change out the game somehow this year. Cause I am teaching second grade this year, not third. So I know we definitely do money. So I'll put the things that I'm gonna use primarily at the top. And then the extensions I can add to the bottom. This one is area and perimeter. Um, definitely not using that just yet. So I'll slide this to the bottom. I just found this cute little rolling chair at the thrift store. It was only $5. Can you believe that? I'm gonna use this at the front of my class. This chair is gonna go here and then I'm gonna add this pillow. Perfect pop of color for the room. I like. Girls working on my bulletin. Y'all working hard or hardly working? Hard hard. Working hard. <laughs> I don't know about Miss Maddie Case. So this is the border that I'm considering. This is one of my displays. Future leaders are in this school because they're in this class. I think that could work. So maybe try doing this border on two of them first. Hopefully it'll suffice for all of it. And if not, I really like this. So. 
So you can add the students' portraits and their names. I love that. You got it? I found this really cool building block game from Target. It was only $3 and this can be used for contractions. So you see, you put the words together. So you use the building blocks to connect to make the contraction. This could be used in centers. Really like that. All right, so now I'm gonna hang up my number line. Looks like this. I'm just gonna start by spreading them all out across the front of my class. I wanna make sure I have a good starting point. So I'm just separating it from the backing. I think this is about all I'm gonna get done today, unfortunately. I at least got my email up. I feel like I add so many items to my to-do list and I don't get hardly any of them done. However, progress is progress, right? So I gotta count my blessings. I would like to do up to 100. This one goes to 121, if I'm not mistaken. But up to 100 would be awesome if I can get that far. This one goes into negative numbers. However, in second grade, we don't do negative numbers, so I'm not gonna add that to the wall. Hmm. I don't even know if I'll be able to stretch that far. It's gonna be interesting. Oh, or maybe I should do two levels. Maybe because of that big white thing, that's not gonna work. Because of that big white square up there, that's not gonna work. If I did two levels. Hi guys, so I just stopped in really quick to drop off a few things to my classroom. So let me show you a few of the new additions. So I needed some more name tags. I got these name tags with the hundreds charts and the ABCs, as well as the number lines. We have sight words and we have geometry. Oh, and then they also have a ruler that's added to the name tag. Got some more coloring pencils for the caddies. I have to add crayons, pencils, erasers, just so that my students are prepared. What else did I have? Got this cute faux bamboo tree as a decorative piece. Got some more border for the outside. Let's see. Also have some more displays, student tennis shoes, border. This is a happy birthday chart. I got my ABC banner. It will go across the top of this area. I have my word wall display that is going to go here. 
Just got my bar stools for my guide reading section. Also got some more dots so that I have more of a variety at this table. Got a whiteboard easel. I got some erasers for my dry erase boards. And yeah, we're making great progress in this classroom. Hi guys, so it's day three of my classroom setup. I think I have on the same shirt I wore day two, but it's been like a week or two ago, and I really like this shirt. It's nice and comfy. That's not the focus. So today I'm starting off with my affirmation station, and last year I put it on the back of the door. However, this year I wanna put it at the entryway. So I'm gonna put it right here. So as soon as students walk in, they'll have those affirmations hitting them right in the face. All about positivity this year, so let's get started. So I already put my signs up. I just brought in my ladder from home. I purchased this ladder on Amazon and it's so helpful as far as reaching things that are very high. So instead of me putting up the actual affirmation stations once I posted it on the wall, I'm gonna start by doing it on the table so then I can focus on how it's organized and how it's situated so that if it needs to be changed, I can go ahead and change it before it's already posted on the wall, if that makes sense. So let me just go ahead and get started with that. store here in Texas. I love it because it matches our rainbow theme in the classroom. It's very festive, very kid friendly. So I'm going to put it at the front on the board here. So let me go ahead and do that. I love that the hooks are already here, so I don't have to do any extra work to try to hang it up. I just put them here on the hooks and then spread the hooks out and boom, you got it. Super cute. Uh-oh, looks like my hooks don't want to stay. Take this off. Spread them out just a little bit more. I may have to add some thumbtacks here on the inside of these hooks just to make sure that it's nice and spread out. I think that's what I'm going to do. I have some clear thumbtacks, so let me do that. If it doesn't want to stay, because I want to make sure I have enough space on my board. Uh oh. Let's just spread this out some more here. About right there. And then that thumbtack will be the stopping point. Super cute.
I don't have to worry about finding whiteboards. My kids can easily show their work and engage in lessons. So perfect. If you're not using these in your classroom, you've got to go purchase these off of Amazon. I'm going to try to add links for these dots in my description box as well. with 126 alphabet circle cards as well as 100 blank cards. I wanted to make sure it was nice and updated and polished. So let's go ahead and put it up. Good thing about it is that everything's already organized so I don't have to find all the pieces like I would have before. I'll just pop it out and put it up. All right, so let me get my ladder. Got my ladder coming through. Let's make it happen. And I'm just gonna do one staple just to make sure that it's in the right position. is that it already comes with the blank cards for you to add the words onto. I remember last year because I didn't have any blank cards and I couldn't find like index cards in like quarters or halves and it was just all different sizes. So this allows for my board to be nice and coordinated and I can ensure that my kids can actually see the words and it goes with the theme of the room. I love it. Perfect kit. Now I just got to add my X and Y and we're all done. And then I think I'm just going to laminate these blank cards so that I can reuse them next year. So I decided to go with curtains. This curtain set falls in line with all the colors in our classroom. We have four panels. I got this one from Walmart. It has four panels, have white on the inside, and then it has the rainbow colors on the outside. They kind of fade into each other. So let me go ahead and hang that up because I have a meeting to get to in just a minute, okay? I plan to hang my curtains with these magnetic clips. I'm hoping that this will work, so let's see. These are how they look. Aren't they pretty? So pretty. I probably should have brought a steamer. Hmm. Let's try purple, put it into blue. I like that more. And this back panel back here is magnetic, so it should work. Hopefully the curtains are not too heavy. Let's see what we got.
magnetic clips did not work. Uh, it looks quite thrifty back there. So <laughs> I decided to get a shower curtain rod. Got this from Dollar General and it extends from like 43 inches to 72 inches as well as these clear curtain rod hooks. I got these from Amazon. I'll leave a link in my description box. So let me see if I can go ahead and put this up. Okay. Now for my ABC banner. So instead of me displaying it at the front of the class, I had already had my number line there, see? And I don't wanna have too much going on. I don't want it to be too busy. So I'm thinking about putting the ABC chart up here across this area. So let's see if I can do that. Mm -hmm. 